Welcome back to Chilima, everybody. This is Logan Kane here, and this is episode one. So, we just landed. Shipwrecked, I guess. Well, it doesn't look wrecked, but a ship that size shouldn't be that close to shore. The ship Velimore, a strong current, seems to drag everything to the continent, preventing your sailboat. What? A strong current seems to drag everything to the continent, preventing your sailboat. Oh, that's a comma. That makes more sense. The Valmor from leaving its shore. What is it that moves the tides of Zulima? Seems unnatural. Alright, so here we are. We're running around. It's got the shroud. Telling me that I can open up corpses. Take all. Yeah, right click on it. Corpse, it's empty. And a little bit more tutorial stuff. Hey, I can collect plants. Whoa, this is different than last time. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just not paying it. Damn, that frame rate is unpredictable in this game. Wow. Yep. Tell me that I can rest, and this is food. So I need to collect food or buy food. Otherwise, my people will go hungry. And I know last time we didn't really look at the difficulty levels, I just chose the middle one. The middle one is what's recommended by the devs. Wow, why is this so laggy? This is awful. But yeah, it's recommended by the devs, and the hardcore mode, it's it mentioned, your party members can even die of starvation, which leads me to believe that I can't die of starvation right now. But I'm sure there's some pretty good debuffs. And this is about as far as I got last time. Village of Velagran. Halt. What is it? No stranger enters the village of Valagran without paying the toll. Toll? To enter a village? I come from far away, soldier. Is this how you receive visitors from other lands? It's the law. This village... If, if I'm from other lands, how do I even have the same currency? This village is under the production of Prince Nenegoth. He makes the rules. Pay the hundred gold and you're free to come and go as a village as you wish for a period of time. But watch yourself, stranger. Make trouble and you'll be taken to the temple. You must pay the toll by order of Prince Nala. So, what I did was... I said, I'll pay nothing, soldier. And then they promptly destroyed me. Stay away, stranger. But for now, do I have money? I have 70 gold, so I don't even have money for this. So, I can't really do that. Or is it even 100 gold? I don't know. Let's go talk to him. I didn't actually pay attention enough. Blah, blah, blah. How much is a toll, soldier? 100 gold. Okay, yeah, it is. Then I won't enter, because I don't have 100 gold, go guy. Away. Go away. Guess it's time to go exploring. Looks like got some mushrooms here. There's all sorts of plants I'm receiving. I have a feeling this game might be more complicated than I want it to be. <laughs> well, this is exceptionally exciting. I'm just running around. What is that? Enemies you see on the map are immobile and won't attack until you enter their area of influence. Mouse over the enemy to see how close you can get before they attack. Though enemies are represented on the map by as a solitary creature, they are normally found in groups. Use the right button to see how many. So this is like Heroes of Might Magic. Can I press F5 to save? I think I can, because everything froze. Yep, quick save. Excellent. Okay, so they got a few. If I move too close, do they just attack right away, or can I run away? No, they just seem to attack. Man, it's lagging bad. I don't exactly have a low-spec computer, either. So yeah, this is just blah blah blah. Pull arms can attack for- oh shit, that's right. Alright, they were automatically put in the back, so that's good. What is this? Combat speed? Let's turn it up to 1.5. So, this over here, I guess, is the order in which my characters attack. And this is so laggy, it's embarrassing. Fuck you, goblin. Laugh at me because of my lag. Okay, so he has bleed. So that's cool. And I guess since she's over here, she can only attack the left two. 
That seems to be what's going on. What's this? Equipment. Well, let's just hit this guy. Critical hit, as well as 3 HP per turn down. Well, I think I'm going to go after this guy. 4 to 5 damage, and he has 12 HP left. If I crit, I might be able to take him down. 5 HP. Good damage, though. 7 HP remaining. So this is a, this is my summoner. What is this? Summon a blah blah to join the fight. Target, special target, duration 40 seconds. 40 seconds? This doesn't seem like a seconds-based combat system. Cost stuff, can heal. Okay. What is this herald thing? Okay, it bites. Let's go ahead and summon. You're gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna take more damage. And you, what can you do? You can do fire incantations. Sparks, 8 to 12 points of damage. That sounds amazing. You're dead now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and have her continue taking this guy down. And what's this? This is my cleric? What is my weapon? What's your weapon, Nanothurus? Whatever. Critical fail. That's spiffy. So he has one HP per turn dot on him. Still gonna go after this one. So four to five damage, and he's got nine health. I really should be focusing this guy down, but I don't want to have her be able to do nothing. So, four to five, it doesn't really matter which one I do, so I'm going to go ahead and attack that one. And hopefully, can I attack that? No. So this is as far as I can reach, and it blocked it. Now, I could use sparks again, but I don't think I want to use up all my mana, so I'm just going to attack. And he's stunned. Ooh, bat baton. Wow, you uh, did some damage. Hey, Nanotheros, you suck. <laughs> and apparently you suck too, as a Gilia. My thief is the only one that can do this stuff. Oh. The damage, the dot happens at the end of their turn. That's unfortunate. But so far, I like the combat. I wish it wasn't lagging so damn bad. I don't know what's causing that. And it comes in spurts. I might have to skip these loading screens if they go like this every time. Okay, we, we abolished them. Let's see, what do they have in their camp? Okay, a poor cloth suit, some shoes, and a whole bunch of gold. Let's take that. Let's press I for hopefully our inventory. <laughs> so what do we have? I have no items in this category. It's kind of an annoying system. So our frontline troops need armor first. So none of these people have armor. What does this thing do? Okay, it doesn't say. Well... Galen is pretty important. You know, I'm going to put it on her, though, because I have a feeling she has the least amount of health and could use it the most. Four... Oh, wait, that's damage. Where's their health? 24, 28, and 20. Yeah. She's going to go ahead and get the armor. The early armor. I don't think I have anything else. I guess I do. I have lockpicks. Awesome. Torches. Don't know what torches are good for. But that seems to be the end of that chest is empty. I think I have to rest for my health to come back. She has 20 health points. So let's go over here. Oh, I'm so sorry about that lag. That's awful. And she still has 20? Oh, no, she has 9. I think there's a... Yeah, this button says rest. Actually, cancel that. What does this say? It is safe to rest here. So, a short rest will give me all my health and mana back. A full rest will do every... Okay, and fatal wounds. Rest until characters are healed. 
Yeah, let's just do that. When night falls, you are in the dark area. You can illuminate your surroundings by using a torch or a spell. Bottom right of your screen, you can find... Never go out on an adventure without a handful of torches. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. What's this? The talisman is charged at 10%. The talisman seems to be made... Glows, blue light... Huh. I don't know what to expect from that thing. But it looks like that's what I was supposed to do in order to get the money to go inside the city. Is that another thing to harp now? I wonder if I have a map. I do. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go but into that city, so that's where we're gonna go. Man, stop lagging, yo. That is that is embarrassing. Cannot pass. Cannot pass. Very well. Here's your money. Move along. Move along. Go away. No, go away. Fuck you. I just gave you money. Come over here and take a look at the job postings. Maybe you'd like to earn something for your troubles. Greetings, stranger. I'm Galvan, master and trainer. I welcome you to our village, though you come in dark times. You don't look like you're from around here. Where from hell you? We come from the island of Brina. In the far eastern region of Rodinia. Rodinia? Brina? In all my travels, I've never heard of these places. I pray tell. Where are they? It's obvious that the inhabitants of Zulima know nothing of the great continent of Rodinia. You decide not to discuss it further. You also decide to keep silent about your divine mission for now. It's a small remote place. It's not, it's not important at all. Hmm. Tell me, friend. What brings <laughs> a small place? A group of such as yourselves to Belagrain. We are on a mission, but I cannot say much more. Judging by how soldiers are not going to treat people at the gates, this does not seem to be a very friendly place. Galvin lowers his voice. At almost a whisper, he says. Shh, be careful what you say, my friend. The Prince of Nangoroth has eyes everywhere. That said, the people of Agrin detest him like a sickness. When his forces invaded, they killed many innocent people. All those who resisted and were not killed are now locked up in the Temple of Farbet. The Temple of Farbet is being used as a prison? I just imagine he yells it. What? Has the news of Artharnian's fall not reached your lands? Arthenian? Who is that? We appreciate any information you can give us about this region. Calvin's eyes open wide. As he carefully examines your face, looking for a sign, you may be joking. I find it difficult to believe you know nothing of Arthenian, my friend but I will tell you what I can. Arthanian was once the king of men in Zulimia. He ruled these lands for many years, so many, in fact, that he appeared immortal. It is said he was the favorite of the gods, but when the makers departed, Arthanian's life force began to diminish, like a dying candle flame, till he finally disappeared. The kingdom was inherited by his four sons. Nengoroth the Silent took his reign of Nobros. Cornell the Enchanter took Karaga. Darithrios, the Beastmaster, took Devonia, and Ovenga, the Tormentor, took Nigeria. I guess I gotta go defeat them. They've been cruel and terrible governors. They started a war against the priests of the temples and massacred them. They took the temples, converted them to prisons, and prohibited any worship of the Lords of Zulimia. For that reason, they're known as the Impious Princes. So be wary, my friend. Not only here, but in other villages as well. That said, you are safer here than in any of the surrounding areas. The world is now plunged into chaos. Terrible creatures that once existed only in stories and legends now roam the land. If the lords do not return, I do not know what will become of us. Thank you for talking to us, and thank you for your advice, Master Galavan. The Divine Temples, new journal event, with great king of men in Zulima. It seemed that... I was distracted by the text on the side. He was held in high favor of the gods until their disappearance. After him, his four sons divided the kingdom and began a reign of terror over the lands of Julima. They massacred the priests and turned the temples into prison. Is this what Golot spoke of in my dreams? Is my mission to cast the armies of the impious princes out of the temples? Oh lord, there's so much talking and I am I have no water. My voice is going to go out. Well, tell me about yourself. I'm Galavan the Trainer. I used to train soldiers of the castle Nervros, but when it was taken by the prince, I was expelled from my post. None but those who have joined the prince's army, or sworn oath of submission, may enter the castle. Now I'm simply trying to make a living. 
For a fee, I can offer you my services as a trainer. I can help you develop and improve your abilities. I'd like to know more about the temple. Never has there been a graver insult to the gods. Nangrath and the rest of Rrrr children invaded the temples and massacred the holy priests. They converted the temples into the places of death and condemnation. This is why they are known as the Impious. The Impious? Princes. Why have they done this to the temples? Nobody knows. There are rumors and hearsay, but nothing seems to make sense. If you want to laugh, ask Odred, the hermit. He claims to have witnessed the terrible incident involving the princes. In my opinion, the man is crazy. Maybe worth trying. Where can we find this hermit? Last time I spoke to him, he told me he was going to live in the golden woods of Sorritra. It was the last I've heard of him. It's a dangerous place. I really hope he's okay. According to the blah 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 just summarizing what I've just read. I'll try to find him, and how can I enter the temples? The temples have been sealed with enchantments. It can only be opened with a special key. I know nothing of the other temples, but the key to the Temple of Forbe is in the hands of Nungrath himself. So you can forget about entering. Why would you want to do so, anyway? I have my reasons. I'll find a way. Okay. Tell me about the prince. His castle is in the east, in the region of Nabros. Take care, for his forces protect the temple, the village, and all border crossings. Someday that cursed man will get his due. That day will be remembered and celebrated by the people of Valkorm. Take courage, my friend, for that day may be closer than you think. Well, what about the job postings? I actually meant to click the training, but whatever. Here you'll find various requests, blah 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 blah. The Brooks Ring. A Zelda Vrega wants you to recover the ring owned by her husband, Dobrik. The last time Dobrik was seen, he was headed for the Rat Cave near the Tower of Melancholy. <laughs> That's great. You can reach the cave through the southeast gate of the village. Yeah. Recover the owned blah blah blah. I'm guessing I'll be able to look at missions later. Sorry there can be no more requests. What about my abilities? I'll pass for now. Take Thanks, care. I must go. Farewell. Let's explore more of this town. In silence. You're gonna be just standing there. How can I help you? Greetings, noble sires. Welcome to my store. You will never find better places. Allow me to say that it is an honor to serve such fine clients as yourselves. The merchant makes an exaggerated bow to the party, nearly touching the ground with his fart. Allow me to present myself. My name is Morwick Longhand. How can I help you? I'd like to take a look at your goods. Do you have nothing? Oh, his stuff is on the right. Ah. Oh, God. Voice is dying. Voice is dying. Caffeine out. Okay, it's clear I'm not meant to Goodbye. buy stuff yet. Most of it's over 100 gold. Good lord, my lord. Wow. Good day, my lord. Are you new to the village? Surely you will need some food for your travels and adventures. You cannot rest and recuperate in an empty stomach. Here, can, can, can you buy some rations that'll keep you for days? Of course, the longer we are able to make the food last, the more expensive it will be. <laughs> fill my re food reserves for two days, six days. Okay. Let's fill them up. Probably a good idea. Soon. Thank you, Escape. Escape works. Something to harvest? I don't think I can go in any. So that's. Saw a mushroom walking with children. What else is there to this city? It looks like there's no buildings. Maybe this gigantic one I'll be able to go into. Nope. Psst. If it's information you're after, you've come to the right place. Okay. Come and listen to the talk of the town while you enjoy some fine ales in our tavern. Welcome, my friend. Wooly the Incubator. Welcome to the Talking Wolf, esteemed traveler. I am Terry, your humble innkeeper. Here, you can rest from your journeys in our comfortable rooms. You can also visit the tavern if you'd like to hear the talk amongst the locals while you enjoy a drink of the region's hearty beers. How can I help you? Stay a while and listen. It is said that the guardian of the tomb of Queen Indares lost his mind when his mistress died. He set from Gorgon Breach to cross the great oceans. Nah, I don't need anything right now. Let's let's keep looking. Have you tried the water from the well? They say the spirits following in Zulumia have special properties that make you stronger. Yeah, let's drink. All party members gain a point of fire resistance. Let's get closer to this barrel. Silly people. I'm gonna look in barrels. You're just leaving 76 gold in every barrel? 
Jeez. Who's this jerk? Hey, jerk, who are you? Jerk, talk to me. You there, you with the strong young hands. Are you looking for work, my friend? If you can help this poor old man... You look like a young man. With a head back by harvesting my grain, I can pay you a fair price. How about 50 gold? Okay. I guess I'm going to do this. I'm really doing this. If this doesn't feel like a waste of time. But hey, 50 gold is 50 gold, right? Ugh. Ugh. I'm a working all day. I'm a working all day, eating sunshine. Gonna pick up all this grain. He's gonna get it off my labor, making thousand gold for the fifty he gives me. Ah, uh, this is this is painful. If the lag wasn't there, it would be a little better, and then the lag disappears momentarily. But it's back. The lag does not stay put for long. Yeah, this isn't taking too long. Even with a bad back. Seems like he could get it done within the day. He's probably just going to take it all to market anyway. But whatever. If he wants to give me 50 gold? Man, if I could get 50 gold coins for just going around picking fields, I certainly wouldn't be doing this right now. Here you go. Thanks for the gold. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Oh, I have a map in the bottom right corner that I didn't notice until just now. I'm amazing. I wonder if I press Q, I can look at my quests. How about J? I'd like to see my active missions. Azelia Verga wants me to cover the ring. Last time he was heading for Rut Cave. Through the southeast gate of the village. I guess that would be this gate. And we'll probably do that next time. As for now, we'll finish exploring the village and harvesting these mushrooms and maybe even trip out of it. Is that something? No. Can I talk to you? I'm gonna go grave robbing. I just found this up. What is this? Pick lock. What? So what do I do? Okay. I'm gonna... Damn. Let's go up. You're out of lockpicks. Oh. Wow. I just learned my lesson. Lockpicks go away quickly. They don't last. Come on, you idiot. Go around the damn thing. There you go. I don't know, are those gold buckets? Those might be gold buckets. I'm going to the gold buckets first. Apple! Well, it's food. Food's important for resting. I don't feel like reading what you have to say, stranger. Let's collect this. And we're gonna go talk to this bitch in front of the fountain. You are sick or a cursed... The vo All right. Welcome, pilgrims from faraway lands. May the goddess Fabrit bless you. The voice and appearance of this priestess resonates with kindness and sincerity. I am from the pre I am the high priestess of Forbet, the lady of. She I I'd assume she's older. I am the whole I don't I can't do any voices. The lady of all beings that grow from the earth. I understand. It is not safe to speak of the gods in these times. Are you not afraid? Of the Nagara soldiers? It is they who fear me, and not without reason. One of them tried to take me once, but before he could go so far as to touch me, he was pulled down by roots and swallowed by the earth. That was the last anyone saw of him. There are not many priests left in these lands. Many were fooled by the false words of Nangorath and joined his cause. What can a servant of Forbet do for you? I need spiritual help. I require healing. You all seem fairly healthy. I sense no curse. 
I'd like to receive a blessing. A divine blessing can only be granted to generous souls. Prove that you are worthy with a donation of 35 coins to the temple of the witch god you wish to commune with. I am not that devoted. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. It's about time to end this video. Say, to say the lords of Azulimia had a plan to a better world as we know it. Converting it to more just a beautiful place. But then the Lord Yul did not agree with the plan and converted the other eight gods. So war broke out amongst the gods? Does the battle continue now? The balance of the world hangs by a thread. In the beginning, the battle started here on Earth, but after the great cataclysm, the gods abandoned the world. Now they do the combat in the heavens, far beyond our visions. Those of us with spiritual connections to the gods know that Yul, the master of fate, struggles against the other eight gods and goddesses, and that, until now, the balance of forces has been maintained. How can one god face eight others? Is he that powerful? As the letter of this Lord of the Light, whose gift was the life Eol, is the one who meets the mortals at the end of their journeys. It is he who for the cold souls who when they die and brings them to a place called the Toilet of Nimbrura. It does say brings. The wise, bra the wise believe that the power of Eol is increased because he feeds on the souls in the Twilight. Is there nothing the others... Is there nothing we can do to alter the balance of forces in favor of the eight? Pray, my son, that is what we priests have escaped the invasion of Imperius Princess do. Shouldn't you be in the temple? Since Prince never gets to the temple has ceased to be a sanctuary and is now a prison. The soldiers do not allow anyone to approach the temple, so we do not know what is happening behind its walls. A grim expression crosses the priest's faces. And what do you think is happening? All I know is that the temple is being used as something more than just a prison. I feel the terrible energy and energy emitting from the temple. It seems that it turns to the very heavens. What kind of servant to put a little bit? Ah, I'm done with this. I want to talk to this guy, if I can. He doesn't have a mark, so I'm going to start Grave Robin. To open a grade, you need a character with a, a strength. Bleh! One character with a strength of 15. Which I apparently don't have, because I didn't make a Berserker! But oh well. But yeah, that's it for episode 1 of Zulemia. It's fairly interesting to me so far. Although the reading is causing my throat peril. So, yes, thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Enjoy.